Woo. All right, I'm just gonna try to hold the phone in my hand because I want to dig everything out. What is happening, guys? It's been like forever. I know, I suck. I really suck. <laughs> um, uh, as you can see, it's dark as hell outside again, and you know what that means? It means we're going on a road trip. It's about 5, 10 in the morning, so we're getting ready to go to Dad's. And I guess this is gonna be like a day one or a part one of the trip, I guess. I don't know how many videos I can make while I'm up there, but we're definitely gonna try to do some snorkeling and diving and maybe do some magnet fishing. I have my new 1400 pound brute single-sided with me in case we do go magnet fishing. But we're definitely gonna go back to Cook's Forest, the place we went last time, found all kinds of sunglasses and all kinds of stuff, key fobs, everything string cheese oil filters you name it we found it uh, <laughs> but then we're also at some point in the week going to try to hit up this railroad bridge that somebody told dad about said people go there all the time during the summer and jump off of it it's an old railroad bridge it's not active anymore but they jump off of it they said it has like a sandy bottom they definitely have heard stories of people losing jewelry and stuff so i mean i have an underwater metal detector now so we're gonna go there hopefully and uh, maybe we can find some jewelry or some like Apple watches or something that fell off when people were jumping in. Um, I don't know, it sounds like some really good conditions to find some missing lost stuff and I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, <laughs> but hopefully we don't get rained out or something like it's been raining up there, it's been raining here. So I'm a little concerned about like visibility, but I don't know, we'll find out. So uh, yeah, I just dropped some stuff off at the post office and actually, I don't even know why the post office door is open right now. I didn't think it would be, but it was open. Check it out, guys. Look what I just got. Oh, no. If I can hold it right. Look what I just got from the ambassador himself, Brockton Magnet Fisher. I got one of his sweet new poker chips that he just got in. And this thing is legit, bro. This is nice. He got the composite. He didn't get the clay, but this feels very solid like this just feels like it's worth some money like I know he's not really a casino but I feel like I could trade this in that's how good it quality this feels um, so thank you brother this thing is dope <laughs> sorry I'm hyped up guys I'm drinking energy drink because we got four hours to go I'm gonna stop talking guys let's just do this thing get on the road and I'll see you guys once I'm there Finally found the uh, campsite here. Got that all set up right there. Looking beautiful. That's where they're gonna be sleeping. I'm gonna have two trees over here that I'm hammocking. And that is where I will be sleeping. But here's the campground we finally found. We don't know how we're feeling about the water because it just rained stupid hard today. Water's super kind of murky, muddy, and it's flowing fast. So I don't know if we're gonna try to get in there today or maybe tomorrow, but we're gonna do what we can do. Sorry, y'all. We had to get, move the truck and go to the bathroom here. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, water super murky, uh, not great visibility at all. But I don't know if we're gonna hop in there today. Probably not. It's gonna be dark. We gotta go to the store and get some stuff. But probably tomorrow, really early, before it's supposed to rain again tomorrow, we're gonna hop in there. We might just end up tubing down and floating down, and this spot might just be a bust this time. We're just cursed with some bad bad luck and bad weather right now, so. Whoa, was that an RC car? That was dope. Where'd it go? Do y'all see it? That was cool. Anyway, um, I don't know if you can hear that on the microphone, but there was an RC car. Um, 
yeah, so I don't know. We're going to try to do something at some point here. We're going to be here for like two or three days. Hopefully when we see something, I'm going to take the dive light that I just got and we'll take the metal detectors and see what we can do. But uh, yeah, for right now, we're just setting up camp, getting supplies and uh, getting settled in. All right, what's happening, y'all? So I'm in the hemp. Oh, there's a bug in here. <laughs> there's a bug in here. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I am in the hammock. It super rained hard, but the rain fly worked perfectly. The hammock is super dry. Um, I switched into the hoodie just because I was soaked in that shirt I was wearing earlier, and it's kind of cool out here now, so I put the hoodie on just to stay kind of warm. And, uh, yeah, but there's like literally a lake. <laughs> there's a lake under this hammock, so I raised the hammock just a little bit. Um, just to make sure I wasn't going to hit that water. But yeah, the rain fly is working super awesome right now. Very happy with this. So yeah, I'm going to go to bed, guys. And we're going to try to hit the water tomorrow. It's probably going to be even worse now that it rains super hard again. So I don't know if we'll be able to see anything. We might just end up tubing here. And hopefully we get to that railroad bridge uh, later in the week. And we can do some diving there. But... I'm going to take all my gear tomorrow anyway, just to see what happens, so, eh, we'll see you guys. Alright, good night guys. What's up guys? We are back for another adventure. It's your boy Snorkel Pirate here. We are here back in Cook's Forest. The water is less than ideal right now. It is pretty cloudy. So we're going to try the snorkel. We're not going to break out the third lung because we really can't see anything. But we're going to try our best to find something. If not, we're going to enjoy a day on the river tubing. But I got two guests with me. We got digging with water. We got dad. We got my brother. We got getting tanked in the house. <laughs> High five, guys! Oh, that did not work well at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. It's a thought that counts. Yeah, yeah. Turned out it was raining like crazy yesterday. We had some <laughs> we had some terrible storms here. It rained uh, two days ago before we got here. We got here yesterday afternoon, and the water was so-so. Eh, we thought maybe we could pull it off. Last night, we got another torrential downpour. In fact, where we were camped, we had a river that ran right through our campground. So, here we are, plan B. But right now, it's a beautiful day but that could turn at the drop of a hat. So we're gonna get in this water, guys. We're gonna bring you along and see if we can't find something, have a good time. Let's get to it, y'all. Later. Hey, yeah. Snorkel. What's happening? <laughs> having fun? Uh, sure. <laughs> Ooh, that's deep right there. Nice current, huh? Oh yeah, look at this guy. Ooh. Is this current event? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's not going to plan at all. Oh, yeah. Hardly see anything even with the diver. Well, guys, oh! oh! It got my booty. I don't know what the tree log or something. <laughs> what the guy? There was a bunch of diving. You can only see about that far in front of you. Yeah, that one, okay. So anyway. Paul and I were facing face to face. Yeah. Face to face. We couldn't see each other. It was like this far line. away to see. That didn't even help. So we're just going to float down the river and uh, look for somewhere else maybe that is uh, not cloudy like this. Because this is terrible. I mean, look at this guy. You couldn't even see me probably, huh? Terrible. So we're going to float down here and, uh, I don't know, maybe if we find a spot with some sunlight or something to calm down or look for something. I'd like to find at least a pair of sunglasses though. I don't know how I'm gonna pull that off. 
<laughs> Superman! Superman! Oh. oh, good. Oh. <laughs> Well, that was less exciting than I'd hoped. I know. Oh, shoot. Sorry, guys. We tried. Oh, it was a letdown. Well, guys, this sure was a bust for diving because you can only see about that far in front of you. Snorkel and I were facing face to face. We couldn't see each other. He even used the dive light. That didn't even help. So. We're just gonna drift down this river and uh, splash, play, go underwater, get cooled off, whatever we feel like doing. Oh, and by the way, the water is a, uh, if you can see that, 72 degrees. Two degrees colder than it was three weeks ago when we were here. <sighs> okay, let's go have some fun. Oh! That's awesome. That's it. What? what? A rock. <laughs> 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 all right guys that did not go according to plan at all this water is way too swift too high too muddy to find anything although i did technically find a fishing lure coming out of the river on the little uh sandbar right there where you walk down to to put in or get out um so i technically did find a lure right so I don't know if we're going to do anything else today. We may go tomorrow and try to find some other spots to swim or snorkel or dive or something. Or maybe do some magnet fishing. So, you know, it is, it's disappointing. I can't lie. Because the last time we were here last year, oh my god, we found so much great stuff. So, yeah, it kind of sucks. But I can spend time with Dad and my brother. So... That's always good, but hopefully tomorrow we can find something. There's like thunder trying to roll in right now. Um, not excited about that. Just means there's more rain. It's gonna make this water worse. It's probably gonna rain anywhere that we try to go. So I don't know. Maybe we'll try to do some magnet fishing tomorrow because that doesn't matter. Um, but there's like no cell service here, like I said. So we're gonna have to go <laughs> to the gas station to use their Wi-Fi and try to get on Google Maps and try to figure something out. But uh, yeah, they're on their way to go get the truck to pick up all of our wetsuits and stuff. And then we're gonna go back and I think we're gonna try to eat and then, I don't know, find something to get into. But uh, we will pick up with you guys later or maybe in the next video, maybe this will be one video. I don't know how much I actually shot in footage, but whatever, I'll be back. Yeah. Woo, all right guys, so fun fact. <laughs> as soon as we took all our stuff off and started loading up in the truck uh it just like super crazy downpoured and like high wind like the raft was almost like dorothy it almost got taken away it was whoosh, whoosh. we was holding on to that bad boy we had a kite for a minute <laughs> and uh actually i came back and i had to redo this steak because it popped that steak out but everything's still dry so we're all good there i just put uh retightened everything down put the steaks back in it should be good to go <laughs> as long as that madness doesn't happen ever again <sighs> and we added some tarps over the rest of the camp to try to keep dry because we're just soaked um, so yeah just want to tell you about that real quick because that is how our week is going rain bad luck I don't know all right I'm gonna go do something
All right, what's happening, guys? So, um, I'm tucked into the hammock for the night. I ran a second ridge line within the hammock so I can test out my 3D printed thing to hold my phone. And I'm gonna watch some Star Wars Bad Batch. <laughs> we went earlier where there was like cell service, so I downloaded an episode to watch. And I'm gonna put my wireless headphones in and watch that. Uh, I'm gonna go to sleep. I have a blanket now. I went and bought a blanket, so it's pretty warm right now, so I don't have it covering me completely. But I'm sure I'll need this later and get all tucked in here. But uh, we gotta leave out tomorrow. Um, not sure where we're gonna go yet, still, but uh, yeah, I will keep you guys updated. <clears throat> it's been an interesting trip so far, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, it's been cool. Oh man. I probably already showed some b-roll at this point of the stars right now. They look incredible, guys. Oh, man. If and if nobody's seen the stars in the in the in the middle of nowhere before just camping, like you don't know what you're missing because they look amazing right now. They definitely don't look like this back home. The light pollution is like non-existent here. They look amazing, but uh yeah, so that was pretty cool, but I think it's supposed to rain again at some point tonight. Um, I've retightened the ridge line and everything and retightened the stakes, so hopefully I should be good and dry. And I'll catch you guys here tomorrow sometime, hopefully. All right, good night, guys. An oversized rat, what it is down the Everglades, it's called a nutrient. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's what we're having? Yeah, man. <laughs> yep. That'll be the day. That'll be the day. Oh, oh. Can't have camera. <laughs> Can't have camera, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Breakfast time, guys. Here, I'll, I'll get you getting me. Oh. I got you, snorkel. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're getting ready to eat breakfast. I just went to the bathroom. Uh, I think we're going to a lake after this and we're gonna do some magnet fishing So I'm probably gonna end this here and make that its own video And then also while we're down there if the lake is clear enough and there's a space that we think we might find something Might also do some diving get back in the wetsuits and we'll see what happens. I don't know, but We're gonna go to this lake see what's happening And I want that to be its own video for you guys. So that will come out next week. So Be on the lookout for that. So I'm gonna go eat some breakfast, guys. Remember, go out there, make your own adventure. Life's short. Have fun. Peace, guys. Yes,